Today let's discuss C++ function prototype. We have already discussed what is a function, how to define a function and how to declare a function. Today I am just concentrating in the term function prototype. Okay. This is a declaration of the function that tells the program about the type of the value returned by the function and the number and the type of arguments. That is, this is a declaration of the function which says the type of the value which the function is returning and the type of the arguments. That is, it tells about the function. That's all. What, what is the return type? What are the arguments? And this is not function definition. This is just function declaration. Okay. Function pro prototype has following parts. Return type, name of the function and argument list. This is an example. This is the return type. This is the name of the function and these are the arguments. And see here semicolon is there. That means this is the declaration. If definition is there means you are writing the details, the name and return type and arguments of the function and you are opening the curly bracket and you are writing the code. right? And then at the end you are closing the curly bracket. This is function definition. And here we have given this semicolon that means this is function prototype. In this example return type is in int that is integer. Name of the function is sum and the arguments are n1 and n2 and they are also integers. Okay. In some cases we are giving the return type as void. That is see void name of the function and parameter list. So void means it is returning nothing. That's it. Specifies an empty set of values and it is used as a return type of functions that do not return a value. In many cases, in many programs, we need this type because it is not returning a value. Examples all we have discussed in the previous classes. A function that does not require any parameter in many cases, the case is also like this. That is no parameters. So if no parameters means you are writing void here. Okay. Function definition. About the function definition, I am telling. Return type, function name, parameter list. Open the curly bracket, body of the function and close the curly bracket. This is function definition. Here is an example which shows about function prototype and function definition. See void msg void. This is a function prototype. Void is a return type and void is a parameter. No parameter. Okay. So here see no parameters are there. That's why void is given and the return type. Nothing you are returning. Nothing you are taking. You are just printing over here. Right. That is why here the return type is void. Okay. And there is a main section and this is you are calling the function when this message is when this statement is seen the control will come to the mess void sorry function section and it will execute this and come back and finish the program that's all okay this is function prototype so this is very simple we have already discussed this here just we concentrated in the term function prototype. That means a function definition. It is giving the return type, name of the function and parameter list. That's all. Okay. Hope it is clear for you. Thank you.